how to love yourself. Well, I'll give you a couple of tips. I forgot your first name. I'm uh, Justin. Justin? Yeah. Justin, who else have you got to love? Um... <laughs> yeah, uh... Who's more important to love than Justin? Nobody. <laughs> hey, isn't that funny? So how do you do it? You wake up in the morning just like I do, and you look in the mirror and you say, Damn, you're cool! You're the only person I really know for sure can love me whenever I want to be loved. You're the only person that can wipe my ass. You're the only person that can choose good food for me. And you're the only person that will always be in the gym with me. You're the only person that gives me an opportunity to look out at the world and see the beauty of the world and see how amazing creation is. You're the only person that lays with me under the stars and sees exactly what I see. The gift of life is a, a miracle. Yogananda says there are 60 billion, billion souls waiting for bodies, and to have one is the greatest gift in the universe. My advice to you is just play more. Stop worrying about other people's opinion. Remember, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. All that really matters is how you feel. So if you can just enjoy your day, think of things that you enjoy doing, and give yourself permission to do that, and just really become your own best friend. And I treat Paul like Paul's best friend, and I take care of Paul the way I'd want to take care of my best friend or my wife or someone that I really love. And when you just give yourself permission to be honest about your feelings and express those, you know, if you're curious about what God is, well then, meditate on it. Ask big questions. If you're curious about what it would be like to play some music, then go to a guitar shop and take a couple of lessons. Have fun. The secret to love is having fun. If it's not fun, then it's probably not a very high form of love. And in a few minutes on the radio, my best advice is that. Just start allowing yourself the freedom to have fun. And I would recommend you look at yourself in the mirror every morning and just relax and look right into your eyes and say, I love you, buddy. I love you. I really love you. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm so grateful to be able to share this experience of life with you. It's so much fun to brush your teeth, comb your hair. As a matter of fact, I'm going to love you so much that it's inevitable that other people are going to feel how much love we have for each other, me and you, and they're going to want to participate in our private little party. And then you'll see People can't resist you when you love you because they know that you're safe to be around because you're loving. Justin, what you think about that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. <laughs> you got a follow-up I question for Paul at all? Um, I guess, how can I tie that with purpose? There, what greater purpose is there than enjoying life? You know what the purpose of life is? Have fun. <laughs> to live. The purpose of life is to live. The universe wants to experience what it's like to be Justin. Do you realize that there will never, ever be another Justin with your fingerprints, your eyes, your smile, your way of seeing things, your way of breathing, your way of loving, you're the only one 
this universe has trillions of stars, galaxies beyond galaxies. It's got no end to it. And you are the only one ever. There will never be another one of you. The universe never duplicates anything. It's a novelty generator. There is so much joy to be had by just realizing how fortunate we are to be able to watch the birds fly, to be able to see the grass grow, and, and just to watch the sun go up and down. Spend some time each morning, anytime you can, watch the sun go up and watch the sun go down. And the majesty of it is phenomenal. Really just spend some time being honest about how, how mysterious and how miraculous it is that you're here to have this opportunity. And think of all the people that wasted away torturing themselves and screwed up relationships and doing jobs they don't want to do, being controlled by parents that have weird ideas in their head, to the degree that you can just dance and enjoy being you, that is love, my friend. <laughs>